Three, two, one. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, this is Magic Brad for the Magic Brad Show. And I've got a friend online, first time talking to her in real time, but I've seen her on the internet and in the interwebs, as they say, for a long time. Please welcome my new friend, Kiara. Did I say it right? Correct. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me here, Brad. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. And you're over on the other side of the planet. Is it Malta? Is that where you are? I am in Malta, yes. I'm on a tiny island in Malta. Actually, I'm on Malta's sister island, Gozo. We just traveled to Gozo today to live here. So. Gozo. That's it. How do you, is that pronounced G-O-Z-O? Gozo? Correct. Uh, G-O-Z-O. It's Gozo. Yeah. It's a That's tinier a island in Malta, but it's paradise. But in, it's just, it's a great place to live for a, a short amount of time. Right. A little getaway, but you still have internet, so that's cool oh yeah i wouldn't travel to a place with no internet it's just not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> yes you you have that addiction i understand well yeah. i've been seeing you on the internet a lot i remember i saw an interview with you and uh carolina milan milan yeah. it's spelled milan. milan but you say it different you guys do because i'm over in the united states in minneapolis minnesota so i talk kind of funny <laughs> I can understand you, so that's okay. <laughs> but it's so fun seeing, you know, actually connecting with people that you've seen on social media all these years, and you wonder who are they, what do they do, how are they making all this money, how come they have, they, they live in extravagant places, and how do they have so much free time? And I've always been self-employed, pretty much. I've had a couple jobs, but like out of high school, I had a job, and it lasted three years. Got laid off, and I said, "Where's my gold watch?" So I learned early on that I want to be self-employed, but. It's fun seeing all these people actually doing this. And I think there's a huge wave. You know, you got the pandemic thing that, oh, we're all locked down. But I think there's going to be a huge wave of people being self-employed, performance-based compensation, and this whole affiliate marketing, make your own deal thing happen. What do you think on that? I 100% agree. In fact, I think there couldn't be a better time to come on social media because this is the time to come here and understand how do you build a social media presence and how do you show others how to do it? Because people are not going to survive if they're not on the internet. Personally, that's how I see it. Um, you have industries like the food industry, like they survive, yes, because people are always eating, um, but it will still help for them to have an online presence. Let me put it that way. But um, yeah, I mean, right now, if you don't have an online presence, I can't see any other way, but to come and learn how to do it. So um, I actually took a little break last year from social media, but once this pandemic started, I was like, this is perfect. Like so many people are gonna need to be online. So there's gonna be a huge wave of people coming and learning and you know, it's gonna be so much fun. And that's what happened. That's what we saw. We saw a lot of people justifying the investment to come online and learn how to build their social media presence here. Well, I think a lot of people are on social media, but I don't know how they're using it to, they're not really using it to generate money. And money is kind of what makes the world go around. It's currency for a reason. It kind of flows throughout the world. And, you know, it's going from Japan to China, to the UK, to Spain, to the United States, and it's all circulating. And the old way of doing, uh, making money was work per hour. And I, I, endearingly call them wage slaves because that's kind of what it is you're a slave to the clock and there's only 24 hours in a day so you're limited in that 24-hour window every day and you can only make so much money because your employer can only afford to pay you so much so you're limited so if you want that bigger house and that bigger car you're not going to be able to get it because there's not enough hours in the day and your employer is not going to pay you enough to be able to afford it so there's only one other option and that's be self-employed and do something that's scalable and you know the world is our oyster we can sell potato guns like russell brunson did <laughs> when you said potato guns i said he must have read experts here. <laughs> but you made a good point i was listening to grant cardone a couple of like was a few weeks ago now and he said with a job the problem is 
your pay is always like this and maybe it goes up slightly but then you have rent that's going up like this yeah the cost of food that's going up like this the electricity bills are going up like this so it's like it just doesn't make any sense to be paid by an by an employer and then all your costs are going up and your your the like your wage is just that kind of almost flat line it just goes up slightly bumps up slightly so it just doesn't make any sense to to have a job these days you know just that's where some people look at this uh, this internet based stuff as risky i think having a job like that is risky because when, when those when those curves if i can do this with my hands like you did when those curves don't line up you end up having to take out a loan or use a credit card and now you're going down and once you go down that slippery slope, those cr credit cards, they're designed to keep you in debt and enslaved to the lender, you know? Exactly. So I think uh, the, the model of affiliate marketing, and a lot of people don't realize that affiliate marketing is really nothing more than what, what the internet kind of kicked the middleman out. That's all affiliate marketing is. Amazon is just a big affiliate platform. And I mean, he's doing pretty good with his little website, <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Really good. But you can sell a lot of different things. Like I remember seeing you back when Vincent Ortega Jr. was built, he was doing blogs, and there was another company in Power that did blogs. And then Vincent came up with this personalized blog concept, and he was just selling up. You know, you buy your own blog, and now you can type about yoga, you can play about cooking, you can do whatever. And then there was products that where you could sell that you could earn commissions off of. So it's really not changed any, but that was back in the day. Nowadays, you can sell uh, uh, solar installations, you can sell bridesmaids dresses, there's Target, there's Coca-Cola, all these things are on affiliate programs. Like, I think, if I'm not sure, but I think you were, are you involved in like day trading or, or foreign exchange? We, yeah, I do Forex on the side. Yeah, so there's, you can sell money. <laughs> you can, there's so many different things that you can sell and it's just a matter of learning how to be able to sell it. And in my opinion, the best way is video like this, where you can be known, liked, and trusted, develop a trusted relationship, and then you can make the sale. It's not really that complicated, but I think some people overthink it. Yeah, I think more than people overthinking, I think a lot of marketers have overcomplicated the concept. So people come in and they think, I need to know tech, I need to know how to sell, I need to know how to do certain things that personally, if, if you told me like, like you, even before I got started, like I was kind of scared of this whole internet thing. I was like, oh my God. But then I realized the more I simplified it, the easier it was to make money. And it's just a matter of sharing your journey. Like, um, in fact, I do, I do some Forex affiliate on the side because it's a great way to build some passive income. Mm -hmm. um and i was like i just share my journey i'm no forex expert i don't trade professionally yet we're still learning but i just share my journey and i'm making sales in forex without being a forex professional or ever being like made like thousands of dollars trading profitably so all i do is share my journey so you don't need to even be an expert really in anything you just need to be passionate about the topic yes. and if you just talk about it consistently and share value share the stuff you're learning with people and just give it all away just give all that upfront value people will buy from you like people just buy into people that's all it is really some people get concerned also about the saturation they're concerned that there's too many doing it right now that's not true either because what is the, how about the, what's the population of the planet or internet users isn't it like in mm -hmm. the billions it's in the billions for sure so all you got to do is carve your own little niche out and like did you promote travel for a while because i saw you on some beaches and no i never did travel I, you, but did, you just did travel <laughs> no i never i did travel but yeah. everyone was like pitching me their travel like you travel all the time they're like do this do that. i like <laughs> I never really wanted to promote anything in the travel because I was so like in involved in digital, like in digital marketing. But um, I'm actually considering travel in the future because um, there's this company. It's involved in cruising, and if there's there isn't that many people doing like kind of talking about cruising and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So that was something I would probably consider. Um, I just 
the thing is there's so much to do you're like if i do this and i do this and i do this i'm spreading myself too thin <laughs> but it's kind of like surfing too i've never gone surfing but when waves flow in and out that's what you got it so when you see that everybody's getting out of travel because of the pandemic nobody's traveling right yeah now is the time to get in because the wave is going to change and people are going to start traveling again so being able to, to read the waves i think is is a, is a good trait to be able to have and see what's coming and what's going right Exactly. I mean, as long as people are passionate about what they decide to promote, they should really shouldn't have an issue. I think they just need to stick with a game plan, stay consistent, and they will get results. I, I always tell people, give it minimum three to six months. Like if you don't make a sale in three months, it's no big deal. You just started. Like give it time, you know, like you're building your audience, you're building momentum, you're learning, you're finding your voice. But after three to six months, like you'll start seeing sales and then just build on that. So you're good. It, it is about focus and I have a challenge with that. I've got what I call entrepreneurial ADD because you always see that, hey, that's a good idea. And then you go off that shiny object thing. But staying focused, it's kind of like the magnifying glass with the sun to burn the wood. You got to keep mm -hmm. it focused. You got to hold steady, keep it focused. And then it's like the farmer, you plant the seed and it takes months before it comes out of the ground and starts to bear fruit. So you got to be patient. It's, it doesn't, you don't just go, Here's my link, poof, I got $10,000. Nothing mm -hmm. works like that, except for lightning when it discharges, but it, it takes time to build up before the lightning discharges. Nothing yeah. pops into existence. <laughs> Nothing, no. I mean, the thing is, is such that's an employee mindset. Like um, a lot of people come with this short-term mindset because yeah. that's what they're primed to do. They're primed to get paid by the hour every day, so they expect a paycheck when they get started online. But that's not how it works, you know? And the thing is, so many people, they justify college and paying thousands of dollars for that, but then they don't understand that you come into this and in six to 12 months, you can freaking change your life. Like the kind of money you can make here compared to, I, I went to college by the way, cause I was brought up in that kind of go to college, married, had kids. I, just, I went to college, but then after that, I was like, okay, I'm going to break all the rest of the rules because this ain't working for me. <laughs> I traveled. I, I couldn't care less. I was like, I'm not following any more society norms. So um, yeah, I mean, I went to college and guess what? I got a, a really miserable day job like that made me miserable for three years until I just got myself fired. And then I was like, this is the end of it. So <laughs> is that intentional? You got yourself fired intentionally so you can go? Um <laughs> Sub I think, subconsciously. I, I, I subconsciously did get myself fired. I really did. <laughs> well, it's interesting because people want to hang on to their their jobs. But the, the, on the college thing, back in the day, employers used to hire because of the letters you had behind your name. You know, they used they used to hire full because you're educated. Now it's results based. If you can't produce, we don't need you. So exactly. it's, a, it's a different college these days. You need to learn how to produce. And there's so many people out, I'm assuming like yourself, don't you teach people and coach people through how to do all this stuff? You have classes and stuff? I do. Uh, for my members who join me, my main affiliate offer, I do, yes. Because they come in and they're confused and overwhelmed. It's, it's a normal feeling. So I just kind of give them, um, clear direction on what to start focusing on because like you said before people overcomplicate it so i just simplify the like what they need to do during the day and just a couple of like it only takes a couple of activities a day in order to make money online well i just learned something here now what you just mentioned and you're younger than i am i'm supposed to be wiser and all that but i just learned something that you mentioned about uh how people are already pre-programmed into the the dollar per hour compensation where you work for a week and you get a bait check. It, it happens in five days. <laughs> that doesn't really happen when you're trying to build something and make it grow. And uh, I'm assuming that kind of, I mean, it would be more of an unlearning academy is what I, maybe I should create something like that where you kind of unlearn everything and learn the yeah. basics of just, uh, you know, find your offer, be a likable, trusted person, and then offer a per, uh, opportunity to purchase. That's all it really is. And it's just a matter, like I said, staying focused with that magnifying glass. I should get a magnifying glass and use it as a, <laughs> it, that's important. It's very, very hard to stay focused. Uh, right now, I'm, I got a couple of platforms that I'm trying to focus on. And it's so hard when you're working on something, 
like I was on Facebook and that's how I connected with you. I said, oh, hey, I want to interview her, but you're not in what I am doing, doing more solar stuff. Are you doing solar? No. See, I'm off, off track a little bit. So I got to hone back in after we're done with this interview. I'll get back in my, put my blinders back on. <laughs> So I don't like to take uh, too much time with these because there is that commodity of time. We've only got 24 hours in a day. So I want to get this up on the internet and let people see it. And if they are interested in what we just talked about, how do they get a hold of you? All right. So my main platform is Facebook. So you guys can just type my name, Chiara Franchica. You guys will notice because my profile is just full of <laughs> videos and posts. I'm posting every day, Monday to Friday. So uh, you guys can find me there and just watch my weekly lives. I go live Tuesday and Thursdays now at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. So it'd be good to see you guys there. And thank you so much, Brad, for having me here. So the way it's spelt is C-H-I-A-R-A, -A, in case people can't see it. Normally, I do this on, uh, or, or, you, I like to use StreamYard because it has the ability to put that stuff on and I can type it in. So if we do another one of these, if you want to do another one, maybe on a focused uh, product or something, we Absolutely. could then put that stuff in there and that way you can point to it and people can read it. But yeah, that's how you spell it. We can do it with StreamYard, yes. Yep, that's fun seeing all these different platforms and there's so much going on in this world. <laughs> well, Kiara, I appreciate it. Okay, sorry. Was that? I was gonna say next time we can talk about repurposing content with things like StreamYard. So that's definitely something we can talk about next time. Repurposing content? Yes. That's interesting because I was just thinking about that this morning. That oh yeah, can... I, have a, I can talk all day about that. <laughs> <laughs> what's the point of like reinventing the wheel if you could just kind of revive it a little bit shine it up and move it and share it somewhere else absolutely all right wise all woman right. okay folks nice round of applause for kiara i appreciate you taking the time kiara <laughs> so if you want to stay on we'll have another little chat other than that i'm going to beam this up to the universe and let the internet do its thing because it knows more than better than i do okay <laughs> all right thank you so much brad <laughs>